Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Victoria from Victoria Moon's Tarot and I'm back with you today for another tarot reading. And today's tarot reading is entitled, is called Warnings from Spirit. Okay, I was going to call it something else but um, I just get that feeling that I, that um, when I woke up this morning I thought of oh, this some some information that I have to pass on today and I don't know what it was but I thought you need to do a reading today so I've decided to do um, a pick card three deck reading okay so I've pre-shuffled and cut my cards I don't try to pick my cards so I don't know what is underneath because there'll be no point because I wouldn't be able to read as I call it smooth so it would be no point so if you like, as always, if you like what I do on this um, channel and you've seen some of my other videos and you like this one as well, when um, after you've had your reading, please, could you please uh, subscribe to my channel? I'm trying to help, that will help me grow it immensely and click on the, no, turn on the notification bell and then it will go off whenever I have any new readings that come up. So, um, if you just relax, Try and relax as best as you can where you are, where you're um, watching this video today. And this is a, a message for you, okay? This is specifically for a message for you for one of these cards. This is timeless reading, okay? So you can always refer back to it whenever you need it or whenever you find my video. And um, this message was for you in the first place. Um, I'm going to entitle it Warning from Spirit because I think that's, it's a little bit of a message that I that I thought that there's messages coming out here for people today and you need to do this reading. So as always, um, don't choose from sight, just get like, when you look at the numbers of the cards, not like one's your favourite number or three is the number of your house or whatever. Try and get a feeling for each of the decks and I'll leave you for a few minutes to try and um, tune into your inner feelings just relax your body and try to just focus on one of the decks and then pick one so this is the reading for those of you who chosen deck one today okay so let's have a look what we've got here just put that over there oh um i forgot to say this is the astro tarot deck this is my favourite deck. This is this deck is over 25 years old and it's the one I um, first started to use and I find it is really, really accurate. So, okay, so the first card is Ascendant in the Reverse. We've got Pluto, right way up. And we've got the Devil in the Reverse. And we have the rabbit here, which is also the right way up. Hmm. Right. What I see with these energies here, I see quite heavy energy that's going on here. Okay. We've got these two cards smack in the middle, oh, which is very telling. And then you've got this one here. So with this first card here, this um, ascendant in the reverse, Unfortunately, it is reversed. So what it's telling me today for you is that this is a sort of appearance to the outside world. I know you've got two masks here. That's easy to say. But we're talking about um, that you are putting on a brave face. Okay. It's, um, it appears when um, things are not going 100% right for you in the background and you're just smiling and um, laughing and your way through it to other people to make them think everything is okay almost like you're covering that you're actually quite unhappy okay because we've got these two cards here which I'm showing this is quite heavy energy in the middle here okay so and this is also sitting next to that so this is your appearance the outside world so um you're pretending everything's all right when really deep down you know it's not. If that's an easier way of explaining it. It's the appearance that you show everyone else. Okay, so you've got this heavy energy here. With this Pluto card here, okay, and with this devil reversed, I think that there's some kind of secret. Okay, I don't know what it is, 
um, you should know what it is, but something that's going on that you, you either have found out or you are keeping a secret from other people. You're keeping it to yourself. You're not happy. It's not, it's not a brilliant, it's not a, a, a good secret, unfortunately. It's something that's quite heavy energied. With this Pluto card here, it's um, it's almost like um, it's there's your secret there. Look, so this heavy energy here, you're keeping these things a secret. You don't want people to find out. I also see Scorpio. Scorpio is energy represented a lot in this card with both of these planets here. You've got the Devil and the Pluto. Okay. This card here, next sitting next to this one, is quite significant because you, I find in spreads over the years, they they actually come out together when something significantly not great is going on. Okay, with this devil reversed here sitting next to it, this is already telling me that some kind of obsessional behaviour is going on. An indulgence that's not healthy, possibly an obsessional or a bit too much partying, drinking some kind of over it could be gaming in um too much time on the internet that you don't like something that you're not happy with okay and it's a secretive something that it's either a secretive something this other person is keeping from you or you found out or you are keeping this a secret from other people is what i suspect because you've got your appearance card here so i think you're keeping this a secret from other people you don't want other people to find out this is definitely an overindulgence of um, something. It's drink, drugs, even sex, even an overindulgence, unhealthy, unhealthy obsession with something. OK, but with this card here, this is telling me that on both of them, because they're both reversed, it's going to pass. OK, for you, it's going to pass. So this is not a great time that you're having in the middle. So you're just keeping up uh, appearances, basically. You just don't want people to find out what's going on. And with these two cards here, and we've got this rabbit at the end. This is the um, ignore. You're ignoring it. So this is the, this is you, basically. You're ignoring the behaviour. And you like harmony. Uh, you don't want to admit, you don't really want to admit that in reality, things are not going fantastically well. You just want to see the goodness and everybody happy. And of course, deep down, you know that things are not right. Um, it's also telling me here that if you've chosen this car, this that we're talking about, this is quite an elegant person, somebody that is very attractive to the opposite sex, even though they don't realise that they are. You know, it's almost like the saying, keeping up appearances, I am worth more, but why should I, you know, why are you staying in this situation here? This situation, or why, why are you letting this one carry on? When you could be back to yourself, you know, this is somebody who's very interested in clothes, um appearances you know hair nails it doesn't have to be a woman entirely it could be male you know i'm saying he the you know but this is a general reading it could be for anybody just somebody who's quite careful with their appearance here it could be you i think it's you and also you you know you are a head turner so people are attracted to you also what head in spirit and this also is a romance around the corner card OK, so what's saying here that why are you keeping up the pretense and the appearances to save this situation here? It's not a good thing for you. And with this card, you could get stuck if you stay in it. So if you decide to stay in this situation here and you don't change things for yourself, you could be in this situation for a very long time if you don't start doing something about it now. Start working your way out of it. Also, Scorpio's energy is all over this, especially in the middle. I don't know if that resonates with you somewhere. When I say Scorpio, it could be, it might not be Sun sign Scorpio, it could be Scorpio Moon or Scorpio Rising. It could be you or the person that's on your mind or in the situation with you or the people that are in the situation with you. But this is a reading, I think, specifically for you. It's sort of telling you to get out of this, of this badness here because you're worth more. 
And if you don't work your way out through it now, it's telling me that you're going to get stuck in the situation for a very long time. That's not what you want. Why should you be stuck when you should be living your life? Okay. It's quite heavy energy there today. You know, it's also saying, you know, why are you doing this? Why, you know, stop ignoring the realities of your life. This is, this is what's going on in the middle. You don't need to stay here. Because there's, you know, you've got your attraction, you're a lovely person, but why don't you see your self-worth? Why stay there? And this secretive situation that you've got in the middle. Okay. That's what I see in the tarot for those of you that have picked deck number one today. Heavy energy that we're going on there. I'm hope I'm hoping it helps because it's quite a lot heavy heavy kind of energy you can feel it okay so if you um if that helped you in some way you know um, i hope it did so that's the reading for um deck number one and we're back for the reading for people who chose deck number two have a look what we've got here so we've got the hermit the dragon the ox and the wheel of fortune well wheel of fortune <laughs> okay the, the wheel of fortune is the card of success okay and good times that, that you are having or is about to come that's what the wheel of fortune means so it's telling you to grab these good times while and it's the right way up as well so when you've got sun at the top and moon at the bottom so it's telling you to grab grab them grab these good times while they're there it's also telling me that these good times didn't come with a certain amount of hard work because you've got the ox there sitting right next to it but um it's also telling me don't overindulge because you find when the ox card comes out it could be a little bit of overindulgence going on so while you can grab these brilliant times for yourself remember to stay grounded okay don't get too carried away because you've got um this dragon card here this is personality plus basically you're attracting the right people you see that you know, your energy levels are sky high and you feel like you can achieve everything. And you can. You absolutely can achieve everything you want. Also, with this um, Wheel of Fortune, you'll find this card comes out with the Wheel of Fortune. This can be something unexpected and it's probably unexpected that might occur. So it's something you didn't plan and it's it will be a good unexpected, not a bad unexpected. It's some kind of event I think, or a plan, it's pleasant, something very pleasant for you. But with this um, hermit card at the end, I see that it, this is knowledge. When you get the hermit card out here, it always represents knowledge, but it also represents, while well, you've got your good times going on here, it all represents just to, just to retreat from time to time and um be with your family um just um uh, what do you call it retreat be with your family your friends have a great time here but now and again just take some time out away from this situation going on here otherwise you might burn out also try not to do everything yourself when you see the hermit card because there is people that will help you and if there is help available take it take that help for yourself okay that's a little bit of a a downer card <laughs> so you've got this good time going on here but don't overindulge take any opportunities that come up that are good because there will be things that are rising you'll find um i think it's some kind of event i can see I don't know what event it is, but it's unexpected. Maybe it's an unexpected party of some kind or an unexpected opportunity of some kind. Um, when you see the ox here, this more traditional, you, you, these sort of 
traditional uh, values when you get here so it could be family but you must take some time out to relax and retreat and regenerate before it starts all over again so it's good times for you for those who chose deck number two very very good times this is a very good card to have in a spread no matter where it ends up in the spread but it's funny that the overindulgent car <laughs> goes next to it but it also did it comes with a lot of hard work you still can't drop that hard work okay but have a little bit of relaxation retreat for yourself you know you've got a lot going on here hell of a lot going on you've got the personality you're very who's who is popular you are very popular with people yeah people are very very attracted to your personality you're you're sizzling right now it's fantastic okay that's the message that I have from you from Spirit for people who chose deck number two. So if you like that or you want to refer to it, this is a timeless reading so you can refer back or you clicked on it and you think, oh, this message is for me. Um, please subscribe. I always say subscribe. subscribe to my channel, help my channel grow. I'll be really, really grateful. I have other videos with different subjects on my channel right now. I will upload another one by the end of the week, hopefully and come and visit us again okay bye bye for now and welcome back to those of you who chose deck number three today so let's see what messages we have from spirit for you so that's deck number three so we've got the full moon put that back you see i put it in the middle a bit and we have the earth Okay, and we have the full. And we have the magician upside down. Now, this is interesting for cards in this deck that came out today. Right, well, we've got this full moon here. Okay, this is a situation with you that's come to a close or is closing but I think it's come to a close okay when this card comes out it means it's finished so this is the situation as was with you is done it's ended or ending almost ended so it's almost like a full circle and you've come to the end of it and it's over and you're moving on that's what the full moon represents okay um you can't even though you, it's tendency with emotions and the moon here to go back because emotions are involved, you want to go back. You can't. You need to move on. You need to move forward. Um, you might want to go back into your little world and you, you might get quite emotional, but you need to sort of take the ball by the horns, as they say, and just do it. Just move forward because it is it's a good thing for you. You know, the situation you were in before was not a great healthy one it wasn't beneficial to you personally and not um for your for your life basically that's what it's saying okay this card is basically saying don't let people take advantage of you <laughs> more or less that's what it's saying to you okay so you've got this world on your shoulders here but it's reversed so what i see here i think someone has taken advantage of you or they're about to. So just, I, with this situation being closed here, I suspect somebody was taking advantage of you in some kind of way. But you had had enough and you'd finished it. Good for you. I mean, don't let anyone take advantage of you. I hate that. So it's also sort of open your eyes sort of card. And you have and you've seen it and you finished it. So they, these people, somebody or someone coming is going to take advantage of you, but you're you're clued up to it. It's not going to happen again. Also, when it's like this in the reverse, I see something going on with the environment. Poss possibly something you've got involved in, sort of. Um, you've got quite concerned about the environment and the surroundings around you and planet Earth. 
sort of climate change. Maybe you've started some kind of um, recycling, something like that. A grow your own food, um, sustainability. You're definitely on, it's in there somewhere. So I think you've just, that's, that's in your head. It's, it's become more of a major concern for you lately than ever before. So that's just a little bit of one that wasn't about this um, being used, not being used, but being taken advantage of, I would say. So you've got this card here, the fool. All right. Every time I see this card, they think, oh, God, have I been a fool? No, it doesn't mean that's actually quite a good card. OK, it means that there's opportunities coming for you, but it means look before you leap. So before you jump in to the opportunities, because you've got this magician card here. OK, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But this um, there's opportunities. So you're happy and you're dancing around and there's your loyal dog. Hang on, I'll put up the camera. You've got a little loyal dog there and he's dancing with you. But as you can see, he's on the edge of a cliff. So you don't want to half foot off half while you're on your way. You want to just take that little bit step back and just have a little look around you to see if you want to do this wherever opportunity is going to come up for you i'd say in the very near future or if you've been offered an opportunity okay but there's definitely an opportunity of some kind that you want to take okay now we come to the good stuff as i call it we've got this magician card here and it is reversed okay so you need to watch out for somebody who's fooling you. Somebody could have been in the past or it could be someone in the future as well. Because you're good natured, you're a good natured person. You know, you've let someone take advantage of you in this situation here. Okay, that's done. Because you're good natured and you're quite kind hearted and you're soft. People get that, you know, people who see people like that think, oh, I can have them here. You know, just watch out because there's someone coming as well. So if you've been offered this opportunity, just open your eyes and do, you know, have do your research, basically, before you go for it. And if you think it's okay, then go for it. But just watch this little bit of trickery going on here. Don't ignore it. Keep your little bit of eyes open for yourself. You know, avoid it. If it's not for you, just avoid it like the plague. But this is a bit of a trickster card. When the magician is reversed like this, it's um, somebody's trying to fool you or is fooling you. So just keep your eyes open. But this new opportunity, I don't know what it is. It will come to you quite quickly and then you, you'll know about it. Just do your research. Don't leap off this cliff. Okay, don't leap off this cliff, do your research, but don't let, because you've had one person already, you know, take a bit of advantage of you, don't let it happen again, and there is going to be another person, because you, you're kind-hearted, you see, you're, you're good-natured, and you like to think the best of everyone, but not everyone is like that, they will take advantage of you for their own ends, so just keep that little bit of your eyes open. I would say that's quite interesting reading that quite a um it's funny that this earth and the full moon came out together I often find that as well so I don't know if you're going to take this um environmental cause but you've definitely been thinking about something to do with the environment climate change sustainability that's your sort of thing here I see a very gentle person I'm read that I picked in a feeling that it's a very kind, gentle soul that picked deck number three. Who would help a person who fell on the floor in front of them like that. They wouldn't just leave them there. That kind of person. And probably take them home and take them out for a meal as well to make sure they were alright. Um, I can sense that for people with deck number three. And this, this is, um, you've been taken advantage of before. So, you know, this is someone who's going to try and do it again. Don't let them, if it's still in your life, this person, and you've got rid of them with this full circle, this full moon, they're going to try it again, if that's what it is. And you're just going to say no, because you've had, open your eyes a bit. Don't let them fool you. If it's a new opportunity, which it might be, because this fool card is next to you, because this, sent, this is the card of the new opportunity. Okay. It could be a new relationship, a new opportunity. I sent it some kind of um, job, perhaps. But, you know, don't rush into it. Just do your research. 
there's a bit of watch this person watch out for this person who's going to trick you this could be the same person coming back trying it again or it could be a completely different new person because you've got a good heart and a good soul and good spirit oh how interesting that is so that is the message for today <laughs> for or any of you that picked deck number three okay if you like that one um, refer back to it if you want to pick another deck and another time or whenever you click on this video it's timeless so this is why I've done the clean background because it's timeless and um, you're very welcome to come back or check out any of my other videos if they um, resonate with you I've got some quite good ones up there and um, I will come back with more videos and if you like this reading like my, what I do please um, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell uh, leave any comments you like I in the box below. I do read them <laughs> and um, try to reply. Um, and goodbye for today and uh, see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.